Saturday, October, Jesus, what is that noise? 19th, y'all. And I got called at 4.50 a.m. for a 9.20 report. I'm doing a Dayton overnight tonight. One leg there, one leg back tomorrow, but I'm good for four days, so y'all know how that goes. I sat four days last week without being used, so I'm very happy to be flying today. <laughs> Very, very happy to say the least. So anyways, finished sipping on my tea. Chai tea. Um, some water. I'm coming down with the cold. It's that season of change. And y'all know I have horrible allergies, so allergies turned into a cold, and et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, um, I'm at the crash pad, y'all. Probably need to give y'all a tour of the crash pad since we're all moved in and all of that. But um, one of my crash pad mates has a 9:45 report, so I told her she could ride with me because I'm driving. Um, so yeah, let's see. Right, y'all, we are out. Princess, say good morning. Hey, <laughs> that's Princess, y'all. Here, here in Irving, Texas. <laughs> Headed to Alberta, Canada. She's going to Canada. I haven't had an international yet. Womp womp. Um, I think I told y'all already I'm going to Dayton. Dayton, Ohio. Next airport, 902. We'll go ahead and check in before I forget. <laughs> Ooh, my lower back be killing me. Um, where's Casey? I'm here. This way, I think. Oh, all these different terminals at this airport. Anyways, we're here, y'all. Right, we can get a little breakfast. What's the name of this place? You Food Grill. Feel great, eat smart. So for breakfast, I think I want to do a whole egg. Hi, good morning. Um, oh, I need to stop eating cheese. You you ready? Go ahead. Um, I think I want the, um, and a smoothie for sure. All right, y'all. Made it on board the aircraft. I'm the first one here. I'm early. It's 9:19. My check-in time was. Uh, where am I going with this bag? I need to go to the back and play. Um, my check-in time is 9:20, which means I would need to be on board at 9:40. So, I'm good and early. 21 minutes early. Well, not really. Well, yeah, actually, 21 minutes early. So I'm gonna sit down and eat my breakfast as soon as I stow this bag. Hi. All right, let's see what we're working with. A burrito, whole eggs, sausage, and I asked for some salsa. I'm really trying to stop doing the dairy thing, y'all, and I got the um, the smoothie and completely didn't think about the fact that it had yogurt in it. My struggle is still real on this non-dairy journey. It's like I don't I don't know what to do to to stop. <laughs> Because the accidents keep happening. Mm, but it tastes great. So I think I told y'all we only have one leg there. I keep looking up here in the here because it's a little pimple. Because of dairy, more than likely. Oh, oh goodness. After a almost two hour delay take my little airpods out 
Oh, I need a massage. We have finally made it to Dayton, Ohio. Uh, I am just want to like lay. <sighs> Y'all, so I was on reserve today, clearly. I have a four day stretch and my reserve started at 4 a.m. They called me at 4.50 this morning to tell me that I had a 9.20 a.m. report time, y'all. 9.20. I'm like, why are y'all calling me this early? Like, it's like you want to be grateful for the early call out. You know, it's kind of like if it was like in the middle of the day, you know, if it was like noon and they're calling until you have a report at five, that's cool. But 4.50 in the morning, I'm still sleeping. And I could have got another solid probably two hours or so of sleep if you wouldn't have called me that early. Like I would have appreciated a 6.30, 7 o'clock call to say, hey, we need you here at 920 because I'm always mentally prepared to be there within two hours because that's what, you know, our our rules state. We have to be there within two hours of a call out. You call me at 450 this morning to get to the airport at 920? Do y'all know that man woke me up and I couldn't go back to sleep? Bah. And then on top of that, get there, board the aircraft, push back, taxi a little bit. Then we have a maintenance issue, which caused for us to go back to the gate, all over some breaker that maintenance didn't do something the night before. Nothing was wrong with the plane, y'all. Nothing was wrong with the plane. Maintenance just forgot to pop the breaker back in, or whatever. <laughs> I don't know the captain was trying to explain it to me of what happened but we ended up leaving Dallas at noon so yeah a flight that was supposed to leave at 10 20 we ended up leaving at noon all over one breaker that maintenance forgot to pop back in so it was causing the computers in the flight deck to say that there was some type of issue and there wasn't. <sighs> the good thing though is that all of the people on the flight were so nice. Not one person complained, had anything, you know, negative to say and you know more than likely that's because we were leaving Dallas going to Dayton so there is nobody really you know trying to make a connecting flight here there's none of that true hustle and bustle now if it was opposite if we were leaving Dayton and going back to Dallas you know more than likely you have people trying to make connecting flights and da -da -da this and da -da -da that so honestly the people were so so nice and I'm always appreciative of nice understanding customers that always makes a girl's day a lot better um than what it could have been so literally we didn't leave dallas until 12 and that's what time we should have been landing here so all of that to say i've been up since 4 50 for a flight that didn't leave until noon <laughs> oh gosh y'all goodness gracious anyways um, I'm hungry. It is now 4 p.m. Dayton time, 3 p.m. Dallas time. We have a 5 a.m. van in the morning, which means that's 4 a.m. Dallas time. So I have just a little, 13 hours here. 13 hours. Uh, not a lot of time, you know. Not a lot of time to do much of nothing, honestly. Probably just go find some food. My um, first officer, she was like, I'm going to go to Arby's. You want to go? And I was like, I, I've never ate at Arby's. I don't know what Arby's has to possibly try to please me. And um, I don't want to go there and be, you know, set up for disappointment. So I'm going to find something else around here i'm trying to think like how starving am i like if i take a nap 
Oh, I shouldn't take a nap. Oh, I should go. Oh, that's the other thing about these, those early morning wake ups, shuttle van times, whatever. That if I nap, it's gonna throw me off, and who knows what they'll do with me tomorrow. We're supposed to get back at like 7:45 in the morning, and um, they may or may not release me. So if I'm tired, that won't be a good thing. Anyways, I'm just yapping about nothing. Let me figure out what's around this joint to eat, and um, we'll check in later. Hello. Hey Kabuki. What's up? Ooh, you look a little tired over there, eh? I am. This thing kicked my ass. It kicked your patootie? Yeah. Uh, hi Jahan. Hi Auntie Lexi's big boy. You miss me? I know you miss me. I know. Auntie Lexi needs to come to San Antonio. Maybe I can get a San Antonio layover. I don't even know if we fly to San Antonio, but I need to come. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> yes. He's so cute. You're gonna be on the vlog time. You're just the cutest little shuffle I've ever seen. Yes, you are. Take that pacifier out your mouth. Let the people see your cute little yeah yeah go yeah. Oh, this is a handsome as can be. Yes, you are. Okay, that's that's enough YouTube time for you. All right, y'all. I've been on the phone with Jahan since three o'clock. It's five thirteen now. That's me. We are going to Spaghetti Warehouse to go get some food and um be back since it's like 0.2 miles away so i'm just gonna go over there eat come back lay it down i'ma lay it down because i'm tired yes tired and hungry hungry and tired all right y'all spaghetti warehouse is right there quick little walk get my legs and limbs to moving since um, I am not working out <laughs> I'm gonna get back to it y'all I have just it's hard it's hard to get back in the groove of things I'm gonna go grocery shopping I'm gonna keto prep I'm gonna work out you know what the issue is is that I'm just not motivated because I still think I'm fine, fine. <laughs> so, once I stop thinking that I look cute, I'll be more motivated to get back in the gym. But in this moment, as in right now today, I still think I'm cute. So, the gym ain't gonna see me. <sighs> I know. That's not really the way I should process that, but that's just, I need, I need to cross the street. That is what it is right now. Dayton Chess Club. Oh. The Walking Man. Oh, look, there's a mahogany. Why is it that whenever you buy something, you start seeing them everywhere like a car ever since I bought mahogany which one did I buy mahogany in February like two days before Valentine's Day or something right I see them everywhere now that's a navy blue one mine is black why is that isn't that just weird the way the brain works you never pay attention to something until you own it or you want it or whatever. And then it's everywhere. Oh, it's like a real chess club. And they're playing chess. <sighs> All right, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm here being a loner at the bar. It's kind of busy. I keep forgetting that today's Saturday and it's 
a Saturday evening, 5.22, people are out dining. Spaghetti Warehouse. Thank you. Um, I ordered a sangria to put me to sleep. Mmm, and it's good. Some spinach and artichoke dip. Spaghetti with meatballs with meat sauce. And the salad to be healthy. <laughs> so, yeah, gonna eat, go back, and sleep. That's it, y'all. That's, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, y'all. I am good and full after salad. Not so great tasting spinach and artichoke dip, which I did not have to pay for, but I did not complain. I didn't ask. I don't ever return food unless it has like a hair or something in it. I don't believe in turning, <laughs> returning food. <laughs> you know, after being a server for so many years, like, I just, I just suck it up. I ordered it, I didn't like it at well. But, I ate like maybe one fourth of it. And then when she's like, are you done with it? I was like, yeah, I'm done. She's like, well, I had them take it off for you because it took so long to come. It took maybe like 12 minutes to come for appetizer. That is a little long. Um, like a fourth of my spaghetti and two sangrias later y'all back to what I was talking about I'm good and full make this little point two of a mile walk back to the hotel I really feel like I could knock out right now and be done for the rest of the night but it's only 6.06 um, .06 p.m. It's only 6.06. Like, I don't know. I'll probably try to watch a little TV or something and stay up until 8. Um, and then I can go to sleep. You know what I mean? The way these eyelids feel and the way those sangrias sit in my soul. <laughs> I'm gonna go cuddle with the sheets. Well, what I could do is go to sleep now. And depending on what time I wake up, just hit the gym because the fitness center, right, that door right there, is 24 hours. So if I wake up at a, you know, <laughs> god off of earliness in the morning, which I probably will, I can just go work out. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We're going Good to morning, y'all. Wait, it's so early, I don't even want to open my eyes. It is 4.14. Uh, Y'all can never see the time because I'm pretty small. Um, <laughs> it's just early, 4:14, whatever time zone I'm in, and um, <laughs> three fifteen now, Central Time, Texas time. <sighs> Clearly no gym, cause I gotta be downstairs in the shuttle by five o'clock. So probably not gonna get no makeup. I'm just gonna do some good skincare and get a nice little glow going. <sighs> I'm tired. Like when I got back to the room last night, I did knock out like I said I was, and I think I dozed off for maybe like an hour. And then I woke back up texting. Then I watched the first two episodes of season two of what's that show all american i really like that show y'all like that show <laughs> and yeah then i went back to sleep maybe about like 10 and 10 11 ish right now i don't even know and now um yeah it's time to get up so no gym hey siri um Play gospel radio. Anyways, y'all, let me get ready. Now playing gospel radio. And, um, yeah, see y'all on the plane or something. All right, y'all, made it on board. Get a little lippy. I did put on some makeup because I was just looking so tired. And I was like, oh no. 
I need a little face lift. Um, I don't remember what this is. Fenty. I think the name of this color is like shoddy or something. I I, I don't remember. <laughs> it's one of these little Fenty Beauty lipstick things. I think her name was Shoddy. All right, y'all. That's. Sounds like you need a little help. Let me go do some work. See All right, later. guys. We are done with the one leg back and I'm released for the day. Look at God. Look at God. All right. Made it on the important shuttle. All I can think about is the band, y'all. Them early wake ups are really easy. No matter how much sleep you get, my eyelid was like this in the jumpsuit. I had to get up. I was like, uh uh, get up, let's get up. So, release for the day. And that means I'm still good Monday and Tuesday. So, after I wake up from my nap when I get back, um, I'll try to get for something. I'm coming down with a cold, so I need to go like and try to doctor and get my nose to stop sniffling and running. I feel like a little tired, but nasty. Nasty. Back in the crash pad. About to eat the leftover, um, what's that? Spaghetti. Because I'm starving. And nap it out. I'm not even going to wipe my face off before I go take a nap. Like, that's the, the level of tired that I feel. This is a little hard thing. Randy just bought that, I guess. She's still adding and building up the crash pad to the way she wants it to be. But I really like it here, y'all. I'm really honestly considering um, just renting my own apartment here. But I think we've talked about this before, you know, just really gotta see what this coinage is like. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, um, I'll check out I'll check in with y'all a little later on today um, and see what they give me for tomorrow. I really don't think I'm going to get anything because I'm at like 30 something hours now. So. Well, actually, y'all, I thought I was about to go to sleep, but I ordered something from Amazon the other night and it just got here just in time for me to get real comfortable for my nap nap. <laughs> look and see let's go look and see okay in the mail room got the little package box things but we're going to the mail room apartment 
A little sleep masky mask. Oh, yes. I am ready, okay? Ready. And earbuds. Oh. Time to go to bed, y'all. Talk later. Alright guys, <laughs> finally checking back in. Look what Brandy got us. Aren't these cute? I love flying keychains. Brandy, crash pad owner. Um, it is no watch o'clock. It's like 7.30 ish p.m. Oh, and speaking of, I was assigned um, four bunk beds, y'all bunk beds <sighs> I was assigned 4 a.m. rep they love giving your girl 4 a.m. rep so let me make sure yeah 4 a.m. rep so let me go ahead and call to confirm and uh, that's it I'm like number 14 down the list so I won't be getting called super early in the morning, but they could always call me to come sit airport standby or unless some crazy happens. Um, <clears throat> they probably won't even get to me, honestly. So tomorrow I'll probably be just be. Your call cannot be completed. Wireless. Your call cannot be completed. Just dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Announcement. <laughs> what? One, one. <laughs> Welcome to Verizon. What's going on? Okay, just I mean, make sure I. <laughs> Verizon, why do I hear you? <laughs> I'm calling the job. <laughs> make sure y'all ain't trying to cut or play a phone off. <laughs> Please enter your transaction number. Reserve assignment to confirm employee number. Your assignment is confirmed. You are assigned reserve availability period from 21st October at 0400 to 21st October at 1900. To repeat this information, press. All right, y'all. So we are confirmed. For wrap availability period 4 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow. Um, you might have addressed this, but why did you choose regional over mainline? Um, uh, I have not addressed that. I'm reading a, a comment that I just got on the tube from Steve Reinhardt. And Steve, I have not addressed it. I don't really think I have. Well, I kind of have. It's not really a choice. You know, you go with who chooses you and what's available at the time. Um, yeah, that's my answer to that question. And I know some of y'all are probably wondering when I'm going to do the comparison video, but I'm, I'm not there yet, so I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> um, Cowboys game is on, so I don't watch football, so I don't really have anything to do. I am going to start binge watching Breaking Bad. Um, I just Ubered for a little bit. That's what I did while I was gone away, y'all. I was Ubering. Um, it was a good little Uber day. I made $75 off of three rides. So that's actually really good. Um, I always retire once I need gas. Because to me, that just means I don't need to be driving no more. So your girl need a gas. So I dropped my last person off. Got some gas. Got some dinner. And, uh... Now I'm back at the crash pad. So that's all today consisted of. So we'll see what happens for my next two reserve days. Hopefully something exciting pops off. Maybe I can get me a little Canada layover. It seems like all my classmates are going and I haven't been yet. Boo. <sighs> Anyways, y'all, that's it. That's it. That's it. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Good morning, lovely people. 
Ugh, it is about seven o'clock Monday, October 21st. <sighs> Reserve started at 4 a.m. And I just checked the list and oh sleepy. Um last night when I checked I was like 14 for wrap one and my crash pad mate she got called she was like number four and they called her early must have been like four o'clock on the dot so i just got up and checked and i'm down there's they've like used 10 of them already so i think that i may end up with a trip there was like a tornado or something going on last night um <laughs> she came in late last night asking me if I think we should get in the bathroom and I was like girl no, I'm not in the bathroom I'm sleeping <laughs> she's so cute um but yeah there is one two three four five trips in open time so um let me see if I'll be. Well, you know what? The way uh, Envoy is set up. So there is this trip at 119, but that doesn't end until. So they could just give me, I don't know. See, like when they call reserves and they have trips in open time, they break these trips up and assign it to you. So, it's really hard for me to tell if they'll call for something or not. Okay, like here is a Lexington overnight that they could potentially call someone for. It's on the um, 175, they need one flight attendant. That's at 1030. So knowing them, they probably calling somebody real soon for that one. Um, there's these. Uh, because I started rap at four, and technically it ends at seven. I think I don't know. I just be so confused with the way they do stuff. It's like I just want to go to the crew scheduling little office or wherever they are and pick their brains. But anyways, there is a very high chance that I will go to work today and I'm fine with that. I'm very much fine with that. Um, yeah, so I'm still sniffling. This cold is trying to beat me up. I'm gonna make some tea. I really wanna make a hot toddy, but without the toddy, green tea. Nice chai. I don't really want any chai this morning. I just want something that's gonna like clear me up. Tropical sunrise black tea. <laughs> Look, y'all. It's a little tea drawer, like brandy. Bring like brandy begin her stash. What I really need to drink is some of some of this emergency it'll probably do me really well <sighs> but yeah um of course i'll let y'all know if i get a trip and we'll go to work okay let me find out what happened in dallas because brandy also texts me i guess she didn't realize that i was in the bed knocked out by like nine o'clock <laughs> she texts me she was like are you out ubering I hear it's really bad in North Dallas. And I was like, I'll text her back at like 3 a.m. I was like, no, I've been asleep. <laughs> like, are, are y'all one of those people that sleep just like great when it's raining? Like, it was raining, thunderstorming, like, like banging on the window. But I was knocked out. Like, champagne. <laughs> Hello. Yes, this is her. Okay. This is uh, Lexington overnight, departing at 
pretty soon you have a 9.30 sign and then we've already added it to your schedule. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, have a great day. Bye-bye. Just like I said, y'all, I'm going to work. But that trip that I said, oh, they should probably be calling somebody by now. That's the trip they just gave me. The Lexington Overnight. 1030. <laughs> 930 signing at 728. Um, I need to get up. <laughs> we get there at 1.40 p.m. And then we leave tomorrow at 6.30 in the morning. They love giving me these early morning <laughs> reports. Goodness gracious. Well, they assigned me number two. So that means I get to hang out with the other 64 lovely customers in the back of the aircraft. All right, y'all. Let's go to work. <laughs> I didn't even start drinking my tea yet. You know what? I'm going to sit here and enjoy my tea. And then I'm going to get up. All right, you guys. It is time to go. It's 8.53. And I need to be there at 9.30. So, let's see. Let's see. Hopefully this is nice and smooth. Get in the car, park, get on the bus, get to the gate, check in. And, oh, looks like somebody dropped a beer bottle or something. I thought I dropped something. Um, <laughs> Then I'll get some um, breakfast at the airport. <sighs> so yeah, where are we going? To Lexington, Kentucky, I think, right? That's in Kentucky? I don't think I've ever been there. Well, I, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. But we'll find out when we get there. on board we're already running a little late last night's tornado I guess has a lot of oh, my phone oversold flights um I guess delayed flights I don't really know but it's 1014 we are supposed to be departing at 1030 and the aircraft just got to the gate. They just complained, so we have the cleaners on board cleaning right now and catering, catering. We're still gonna try for our on-time departure. Well, actually, they changed it to 10:36. So, but yeah, one leg to Lexington overnight, and one leg back tomorrow. Um, Wednesday, I'm off, so the most they can do with me tomorrow when I get back is give me like another turn or something. Well, you know. Mm, that's fine too, whatever. Um, but yeah, y'all. I just had some breakfast. So I need to pop me a little Mentos. Um, get my breath a little fresh. And carry on. I will see y'all when we get in the air. Excuse me. We have arrived, y'all. Oh, I got a, a real balcony. Or, I don't. <laughs> Why won't this open? I just, aw. I mean, it's just a balcony to the parking lot. Nothing spectacular. But, my kind of hotel, y'all. We got a microwave. I can put my leftover papacitos in there. Uh, bed, couch, smart TV, <sighs> restroom. Uh oh. Oh, probably this one. Uh, oh, there's just no light here. Oh no. 
There we go. Restroom. Boogeyman. No boogeyman. Tub. Toilet. And me. All right, y'all. I am feeling. Oh, why does my face look like I'm not oily? I sprayed something on my face today. Some new product. I don't know, but it just makes it. Like I have like this glow. Do y'all see it? Glowing. <sighs> so it's two thirty, and we are here at the telly. Um, we have a 5.20 a.m. report time, or van time, van time. Um, so that means I'll be up at like 4.30 a.m. These early mornings, y'all, they are tough. So, I heard there's not really much to do around here but I kind of want to get out because I haven't like since I've started back flying I haven't really been doing much of anything on my overnights so, uh -oh. what was that what oh that's my phone <laughs> where did that even come y'all these skittles are so good Skittles, if y'all ever want to give me anything, not the job, the address is in. Do y'all think I should get a P.O. box? Let me know what you think about that. Yeah, comment down below if you think I should get a P.O. box. Would y'all actually, I don't even know why, like why would I need one? I don't know. Somebody has asked me that before if I had a P.O. box. I was like, no. Um, I don't know what y'all would want to send. Like, do y'all send to other people, YouTubers? Um, stuff to their P.O. boxes? I never have personally, so. I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, excuse my smacking. We have a Facebook group for our airline that's, it's called Food and Fun. So basically it just tells you what's there to do on specific layovers, if they find anything fun, they post it in this Facebook group to share ideas and stuff. <sighs> okay, let's see. There's a trail behind the hotel. Okay, boom. Craft pizza and beers. $36 for equestrian farm tours. Seeing the, mo seeing the monument of Man O War at the park. $36 for a horse tour? Does that sound interesting to y'all? That's all I really see. I don't know y'all. I was trying to get y'all an exciting layover, but this don't look like it's gonna be it. So, anyways, um, I have real estate work to do anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'll update y'all with something later if I decide to go out. Getting a little windy, crazy, breezy out here. Might be about time for me to turn around. But wait, not even a half a mile yet. What in the laziness? <laughs> Lazy. But my exercise ring is closed. So according to my wristwatch, I've done enough for today. Good morning, y'all. This is definitely a first. I slept like a champ last night for one um like out by nine o'clock my alarm went off at like 3 59 it was set between uh 3 50 and 4 20 and it went off at 3 59 and i woke up so easily not groggy just can y'all hear Breakfast club in the background. Let me pause it. Um, so yeah, and I'm up and I'm dressed and I'm ready and I'm not rushing out the door because I have time this morning. Look at God. It's 
Shuttle's not leaving until 5.20. I feel like I can go back and take another nap. Like, for real, for real. Um, it's probably because I didn't do any like real makeup. I just put a little powder on my face and some mascara and a little uh, eyebrow filler. A little pencil to the eyebrow. A little lippy here. And yeah, that's it, y'all. Uh, still got these sniffles. They're not trying. To, these are not the earrings that I meant to put on. Oh well, I don't. I already packed up my jewelry. I have ones that are like shorter than this. I don't know how I ended up pulling these out. Um. So yeah. As of right now, I checked my schedule. I only have one leg back to DFW. Did I tell y'all yesterday that that flight was so turbulent, like uncomfortably turbulent? Usually I like turbulence just because it rocks people to sleep. You know, it's just kind of like a soothing turbulence. That turbulence yesterday wasn't soothing. So hopefully we can have a nice smooth flight today. Um, but yeah, let me put uh, my scarf on, my sweater on, slide my shoes on, and let's go. that I have to check as FA2 to see if we have any water and the plane didn't have any water. Water like to make coffee, you know, toilet, sink, not really toilet, but sink. Um, yeah. What flight is this? flight number and I like to tell them early tell the pilots early so they can call and get the guys to come connect it always I just I don't know I don't know why I don't know why things aren't done the way I feel like they should be done but clearly I don't know everything so we always have to check and let them know oh yeah this airplane don't have no water where am I y'all Lexington going back to Dallas Fort Worth what's this flight looking like I'm hot that's the only thing that I don't care about care for working in the back of the aircraft is it gets really hot back here okay there goes some air um, we have 70 passengers on board. Three non revs three wheelchairs, one concierge key, and three executive platinums. Or are they three? They're in first class, concierge key, is in first class. Alright. And that's that. I think the first officer and my the other flight in it they stopped at Duncan. So we should well, they got nine minutes. We start boarding at six o'clock. It's five fifty-one eight. I don't have any ice either, y'all. Let me go get some ice. I think they have a cooler out here with bags of ice. <sighs> Get her own. <laughs> she 
she'll realize it when she's about to start prepping for pre-departure drinks. Y'all, I'm free. They let me go. Now we're about to play a game of let's find mahogany. Pretty sure I parked in this parking lot. It's just I'm way back in the boonies. Not sure which row. I have to find somewhere else to park over here when I'm at the B terminal. Because it's just, it's just it's too much. Too many cars. Not enough parking spots open in the front. So anyways, y'all, as y'all can tell, I have been released into my off days. So it's so nice. The one great thing about working the early morning, early morning shifts, is because it's not even 9 a.m. yet. And I am off for the rest of the day, Wednesday and my, I mean Tuesday, and my off day tomorrow, Wednesday. So it's like having two full days off, which is awesome. I don't know what I'm gonna go do, but I have all this energy. I should probably go to the gym at um, the apartment. I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, oh, I think Mahogany is back over there somewhere. I'm gonna go find her and get to the highs, get to the highs, or the crash pad. All right, y'all, decided to make a little pit stop on the way. Corner bakery for breakfast. Maybe I can get me, I think they have avocado toast. Um, I got some number. That's all right, y'all, I got salad and pasta. I got here and I was like, wait, it's only the breakfast menu. So I asked him if they were serving lunch as well. He's like, yes, you can order lunch. Thank God, because I already had the oatmeal and um, yogurt this morning. Really wasn't feeling nothing else breakfasty. So I'll probably eat half my salad. I got a pesto cavatappi uh, pasta. And then a cafe shrimp power Caesar salad. So <sighs> ready to get back, eat that. And that'll be it, y'all. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end up the vlog here. Because I won't be doing too much of anything for the next two days to even take y'all along with me. So I hope you all enjoyed this little four day of mine. And like always, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you subscribe, make sure you subscribe. Bye.